Team Piper, this is Rampain, and welcome back to my Land Lanco campaign for Warhammer 3, where we're going to continue lifting from last time with the Old World Mod. Where well, right now, at this point in time, we now have a war with the forces of the Clan Pestilence. Lanco right now is over here trying to get rid of Skrulk. He's trying to catch up to him. He's just kind of running away from me. But at the moment, uh, we have it so that I'm trying to regroup and gather some more troops around here with Yolanda. And then we'll be able to have it so we can try and clear these guys out and then kind of make my way back down south. In the meantime, Rapunz is going to keep trying to push what on is? into you guys and keep taking the land they have down around here. And I'm going to have the group, which I actually have named, renamed some of these guys. Uh, I know there was the name suggestion of, hey, one of these guys, because it has like some really big Mad Lad energy, needs to be renamed the Mad Lad. So I decided to rename you to the Mad Lad. Talbert, I also want to give you a unique name at some point. We've been getting a lot of name suggestions for paladins. Um, like we have it so that here is uh, Sir Degone. Uh, I don't... Let's see, do I have a... Oh, I do have Paladin over here, so I actually could rename you to one of the other name suggestions. I think I will do that, so let me go grab that name for you, because I, I forgot that we actually have another Paladin over here. Um, besides also the guy that's, like, over here, but, like, I don't I think I'm going to give you a name since you're kind of a... You're a scout, so I don't think you are worthy of a name for a conqueror. I also forgot that I actually never renamed the Paladin that was in Leonker's army. So I have you now as uh, Balin of Ebelin, and then we also have for Yolanda's army, this. we have uh, Jean of uh, Orleans. So we have those guys at this point in time. Uh, right now, I do have some more things to skill up right now. So this is for Rapunz. Uh We're not really fighting on dead right now, so I don't think I'm going to grab that. I think if anything, I should probably boost her a bit more. Although, let's see. I could give her imp I could have her improve her infantry more, or I could have her improve her archers more. And debating on that, which one I want to do more, because this would make it so these have more leadership, more melee defense. This would give us more ammo, because she gives me a bunch of buffs to just arm piercing for infantry. I feel like I should upgrade her infantry more than I upgrade, because that will affect. Because we'd probably basically eventually would just give her a bunch of men at arms would be all the units that she'd have primarily. Because we don't have... No, I'd be trying to get her foot squares at some point. Yeah, actually. So I don't want to get the lowborn militia. We will get the archer one upgrade then. So we'll do that. And then does anybody else have any rank ups right now? The paladin for army. Uh, for you need to get Foe Seeker. So you can try and grab that. I don't really have enough money to do anything that I want to right now, so we'll just have to hold off on that. This area here is a little upset. Yeah, we need to try and figure that out. We need to fix my uh, public order around here, which honestly, once I grow this, um, I can get a better public order building around here. And if anything at all, I think you guys will be fine given where you're currently at for control. Oh, perfect. I was hoping that we... There's, Perfect. So I got an underway interception against Skrull here. Uh, let's let's do this again. I we're going to make sure we sit now just destroy him. The sooner we get rid of his army, the better, because then I can have Zelay and Curl be able to rejoin with Rapunzel right now, so we can keep making my way down south and finish them off. And uh, this is going to be I'm going to be mean. Uh, basically, we'll just have it so that uh, my Pegasus Knights, I'm probably going to have you just rush on in immediately to the Plague Claws, and all my Cav will be running on in here to try and get on into melee. With the rest of their army. Lanker, my paladin, I'll probably have you guys just go fuck up Skrulk. Because he... I don't think... Uh, you know, I think yeah, you two will be easily be able to beat him. They do have the other, like, war chiefs over there that could do a bit of damage to Lanker and everybody else. And Belion. But I think you guys will be okay. So, hopefully... Uh, see, they have one other full stack army around here. But I know that one's the one that's, like, just all Skaven slaves. So, I don't think that's going to be an issue. We just have to go catch up with it. And then that one will be guaranteed dead. And I think for sure, I think we should be able to f finish off Pestilence today. Clan Pestilence should die today. And then I'm going to probably try and have as though once we do that, I want to confederate uh, Besto uh, Borlo. Um, that'll give me another big chunk of land. We'll have another legendary lord under our control. And then I'm still debating on if we're going to be going to war with the Wood Elves at some point or not. I know someone was saying, hey, hey, go fight the Empire. Go do it. Do it. Um, I don't know if we're going to, though. Yeah, Pegasus Knights, you just run up here immediately. I'm just going to have you go for the Plague Claws. Lancur, my Paladin. You guys be trying to catch up with us as well later on. You guys be up here. And then I'll just have little groups of four or three ready around here. Because we're just going to charge on in and slaughter them. So there, there, there. And then, like, there, I guess? 
I'm just gonna have all of you guys uh, go into this stance right here. Make sure you guys are locked up here. And then start deployment. Start the battle. Start pushing forward. Lanka and everybody, uh, you need to get to the Plague Claws. Infantry needs to move up as well. And then let's try and... Oh, can I get a little closer? There we go. Oh, they're taking some hits. They are taking some hits, but I think you guys will be okay. Let's try and get them to drop their Plague Claws. Take a little bit of damage. I might have to, like, pull back after this. After this charge. Oh, yeah, you guys take way more damage than I'd like. Okay. Let's pull back for now. Let's wait until the rest of the army gets here. Then we can try... Oh, you guys just broke, actually. Well, you guys didn't lose any models yet. Yeah, pull away. Okay, you lost one model. Yeah, pull away. Rest of the army is now here. There you go, guys. Yeah, push on in there. Land and my paladin are taking some damage. The moment, though, yes. Yeah, so focus on Skrulk. Uh, you summon some clan rats on us. Uh, fuck you. Actually, I'm not using, not using the comet on you. Yeah, just hit these guys with a thunder button and just run away from them. Because, hi, guys. I know you're just basic clan rats, but just fuck off. Okay. Let's get you to kind of get back over here. And now, my Pegasus Knights. Get back here. Now hit the Plague Claws. And then start debuffing them around here. Don't have the main boosts I want just yet. Can they use their Clan Stone thing around here? They did, which does... I want to see what it does. So, it, it's poisoning us. But at the moment right now, you guys are doing fine. Uh, let's have you try and boost up my Paladin. He's kind of struggling a little bit. Num uh, let's see. Any good blobs? There's a blob over here. So you guys. There's a blob over here, but those are summon clan rats. And then I don't have. Oh, we just have the buffing abilities. The moment Skrulk is here. He's just hiding. He's just hiding. Yeah, here he is. Here's Skrulk. Hello, Skrulk. How you doing, my good sir? As he's being attacked by fucking everybody. Uh, I'm gonna try and pull you guys back a little bit. Let's get you guys to kind of pull out of there. Try and get you guys out. So you guys can kind of pull back. Get another charge pull, uh, be prepared. Right there. Also, get out of this. Same with you guys. There we go. Kind of pull back a little bit there. Uh, Lanker, still need you to go after Skrull. I don't know why you're not. Um, we'll just try and adjust my cab. Get you guys to pull back a little bit. And get another charge in here in a second. I see what's going on. There was too many just large entities things that my cab can't really do much against. Um, so I pulled you guys back a little bit. Let's try and uh, focus on these clan rats here first. We can have some of them are a bit more isolated now. Let's try and focus on like this guy right here specifically. Lanko, my paladin. You're trying to take out uh, this hero of theirs first. Because he's just a big entity and he's kind of getting in the way. Uh, you need to pull away from that lord. And then just have my cat, my, my calf try and focus on you. And I think they're finally hitting army losses. Yeah, it was just their heroes were still holding decently enough for them. But yeah, no, not that bad. Uh, do try and make sure that Skrulk is wounded fully. Don't let him get away if you can. Uh, Pegasus Knights, try and get this guy if you can. I want to make sure he's properly wounded. That way he's going to be forced back so that even if this army somehow survives, which it shouldn't, um, we can make sure that, like, he'll be pushed back. Rapons can then maybe get his trait, too. I'm trying to remember what his trait is. Um, I don't remember what his does. I think it's related to plague spreading. Because basically they had just, like, one of their heroes survive, and that's about it. Everybody else died. Didn't lose too many models on my guys, so this army will be able to recover probably a decent amount. Mainly my paladin took some damage. I need to get away for him to heal. Um, I do like having this uh, caster here. I do like these spells. Uh, the defenses are not the worst. Uh, they could be better. Um, and the cat, the damaging abilities they have is, is way better. But, like, I, I need some way to get him regen. I, could, I can probably find a, a healing potion for my heroes because I, I know I had a very similar issue with my Empire campaign where that's just such a regen is such a useful ability in Total War Warhammer. He's got a crown of command and his army, entire army did die. Good. 
I was wondering if it was going to or not. Um, we will grab the evening experience for that. Get all those cab. Oh my god, we got another one. This one I'm going to allow just to be an auto resolve. I know we're gonna try. I, I want to try and have it so that we do get more cinematic battles. But like this army here, that that's it's not even worth showing. So get just the experience again. And then um, we need to, to retake uh, Gimri back because that territory was taken from them uh, by them. And so we will need to reconquer that area. Then we can kind of turn back around. I'll probably leave that to um, possibly my other force, maybe. They need one more turn until their forces are ready, though. But they do seem to be pulling back over towards where Rapunzel is. So now we can have it so that Rapunzel is just going to keep up with the front, keep pushing up. Uh, I have the Mad Lad group, uh, the Adventure Party. They're trying to go into the mountains to try and secure that section of the Pestilence. Um, I should be able to recruit my Damsel this turn, I think. That way we can send them down there, get some actual healing in that army. Uh oh, I'm assuming. Yep, just trade. That's good. I'll, I'll gladly accept trade with you guys. And then it should be my turn. So... Ah, there we go. So now, Leonkur is unbreakable. He has now won enough battles. He is now unbreakable. Hell yeah. So I'm immune to Swamp Attrition and uh, reduce control for enemy province. That's not bad. That's okay. Um, I did unlock a Regiment of Renown, too, actually. The Defenders of uh, of the Fleur de Lys. Love it. Barrel Legion's dead. Actually, you took them out. Oh, that would be uh, Durthu. Good job, Durthu. Good job. So Durthu took them out. At the moment, the Wood Elves don't hate me that much. They might eventually. Um, let's see. So, Lankar. You seek the lady's favor. Let's see. I need to eventually get to a point where I like have it so we just don't always fight every battle. Actually, no. I want to fight this myself just so Lankar gets some regen. Because Lankar at least does have regen. This is still going to be a slaughter, but hey, at least we can have it be a cinematic slaughter. I need to get not get into the mentality of auto resolving too much i know it is it'll be faster but this is more cinematic when we can just have my entire army charge in and destroy them because no matter how many battles i do this still looks fucking beautiful to watch my army just fly on run on over here just all cavalry all the time to destroy my enemies because if anything at all like that's great like i i i know i need to do more cinematic battles sometimes for these campaigns to make it a bit more fun for us because I do love when I'm more incentivized to want to do fights. Because that's the thing I think that is a bit of an issue with the more recent total wars. It's like, you can just auto-resolve it. But look at this. You, get to, you miss out on this stuff. Where I am going to absolutely destroy this enemy army in just the charge. With all of my guys here. It's like, you guys are trying, but with these basic clan rats, basic spears and everything like that. Um, they're, they're all dead. Uh, let's see, I'll get my caster over here. I think you do, like, one cast over here, and, like, they're just all going to die on this side. Because this area's holding a little bit more. I can get a cast over there. These guys are already shattering. Uh, no, I, don't even, I didn't even get the cast off. They shatter before it even happened. Lanker. I've oh, got a little bit of healing back. He got a couple hundred hit points left. Uh, I can let him kind of heal up a little more before we end. Although it doesn't really matter too much because we'll take the territory. So I think that's fine. But there. So, now we have reclaimed uh, Yemri from uh, Clan Pestilence. Uh, I will be making my way out of here next turn to keep pushing forward. And basically, I'll try and deal with that one other full stack army I know that they have for sure. Rapons, I think she can hit a territory again this turn. Um, I think we want to try and have it so we kind of cut off that army that's trying to get back. So if we cut them off by kind of having her go up a little bit to the north. And then she'll double back around after that army's dead. I think that'll work. Next turn, my additional force that I have around here with Yolanda, she will be able to start pushing down south as well to kind of join on in and help us deal with Clan Pestilence. Because once we have Clan Pestilence out of the way, I know we're going to confederate uh, Bordolo. I feel like, because I know we want to go toward the Stalia, especially since I do have some things that need to be have me... Uh, fight uh, a beast it was a beastman or dark elf or somebody else um, let's occupy this territory this is then under my control once more we got Muslim back under our control uh, let's have you 
Okay, so you already have the pub water going out here. Yeah, so keep upgrading that. Lanker will be back to full health next turn. Uh, you guys, yeah, you'll have your reinforcements next turn as well. Um, ooh, actually, oh, you've barely enough movement now, for this. Fight! Ah, you're running. Okay, well, you're pushed back. If they try and run back away again, I'll have another chance to try and intercept them. So we'll see if they'll let me do that. Um, also, I feel like because you guys are also helping me kill off the forces of um, Pestilence, I don't know if I'm going to actually need to take these territories all that much. You guys around here, though, do you know who are still supposed to be trying to kind of casually walk over this way. Oh my god, we have to have a river crossing here. God damn it. Well, hey, it gives me plenty of time to keep trying to recover with you guys, because you guys got a little weak. Um, let's see, Lanker. Let's see, what's that passive? Yeah, I want to get that. Get that. Get you some more weapon strength. Caster. I'll probably get more chain lightning. And then my paladin in here. Uh, get more defenses as well. So, do that. And then you are still just scouting. God, I wonder how much... They have a lot of land down here. I think they basically have all of Astalia down here. Jeez. Because I think they've split it up in two. Where basically this is, um, I think, Deathmaster. And then this is Rakarth. I'm definitely going to have to deal with both those guys at some point. Um, let's see. Around here... I think I do want to upgrade that. Perhaps. Gonna upgrade you guys again around here. Yeah, let's upgrade that. Um, don't put anything there right now. You are only level one, so get the basic farm. Or no, get some more growth around here. Oh, it's five turns. Get the farm. Just, just get the farm. Uh, I'll have it so that you guys will be able to upgrade. Oh no, you can upgrade this once I have enough money. I just don't have enough money right now. Do I have any? Actually, do I have any quick deals? I do. Faith. Welcome, friends. Okay, Let's get hope we come to an accommodation. That's just enough money I, I need. Concur. So grab that. Actually, have you guys be military allies too? Actually, I will. So let's do that. All right. Um. Honor before glory. Get military Welcome, access friends. with you guys. Well. And no, then I... that is it. But that does give me just enough money that I can upgrade you. That way I'll be able to get some public order buildings around this area next turn. Um, I'm currently using the um, Venerate of the Lady at the moment, trying to have it so that we can at least get you guys just some more public order around here. Um, this area is going down. It's Conquest next turn only. So you, you should be fine. I think we'll go back and get the one that gives me the more research rate, because that's the thing I really want to focus on right now. Alrighty, I do have another t opportunity to intercept. Gladly. Let's uh, deal with this force here. Uh, this is just the remnant army of all the Skaven slaves and everybody. So hey, we'll be able to eliminate this force. Rapons can then start making her way back down uh, south after this. Where, at this point in time, um, I don't know if they have much else now. I've taken out Skrulk. Uh, this is the only other main army I know of that they've had. I took out another big force of theirs last video as well. And so... Yeah, Pestilence, Pestilence is definitely dying to me. There's no way in hell they survive. So we're going to start trying to probably start making my way down south, where we'll probably start the war with Deathmaster at some point. Um, let's get all of you guys grouped up. Infantry. Cav. So, eh, for the most part, this is actually fine how you guys are set up. So we'll just, we're just going to move my army forward, because for the most part, we just need to get a little bit closer to them. As at this point in time, they're mainly just Skaven slaves. So once I get into infinite melee, even my uh, infantry is going to do decently against them. Oh, these poor, poor clan rats. You were summoned on top of my cavalry. That's not the best for you. So you guys will die any second here. Uh, cavalry and my heroes, I mean, my, my lord and everything. I think I'm going to have you guys just start trying to rush on in immediately. My skirmishers are almost here. Cav is available, at least right now. So the forces of Britonia are marching forward in strength. So you guys will be able to start trying to get into melee with them soon here as well. Oh, actually, they're going to start trying to attack with either that. Are some of the more clan rats back here? I think they are. Those are more clan rats. Okay. Cav, I can have you guys try and deal with that for right now. I just don't want them to hit my archers. So keep right banging it back off there. The Ponce, oh, they actually hindered my guys with flying. Okay. Ponce does have her explosion. So let's have her make sure to remember to use that. Also, use Hump Discord. 
say. You guys just keep trying to get over here, keep trying to push towards the lore there. And you guys have the bonuses to yourselves just yet. Cav. Keep focusing on the clan rats. Um, I don't know how many they have, but I know I'm gonna wanna be careful about them going after my trebuchet, which my trebuchet is almost in range to start firing soon. Yep, yeah, because of course that's what they're gonna do. Yep, they are gonna try and get us to drop my trebuchets. Calf, keep trying to deal with them. Infantry, you guys are starting to move forward now. Some of the skirmishers are getting in range of us. So I'm gonna start trying to you guys push forward. There, 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 there. I'm gonna pawn some my heroes. You guys are doing some good fighting back here. I have just realized I have no uh, casting at all. That's fine. Uh, trebuchet, you can start just unloading over around here. I'm sorry. Yeah, you guys are just gonna take some good damage there. It's fine. Fight on for the uh, the kingdom of Padonia. Cav, let's see what are you doing. So, you broke those guys. Trebuchets. You guys just kind of defend them. I think for right now, we're good. Because archers, you're opening fire. You're trying to do a damage again to these guys. They're doing a lot of casting into us. I uh, probably should bring some of my cav back. So, trebuchets. Yeah, I'll tell you guys. I think that's maybe only all they have for clan rats, hopefully. So, you guys get over here. The Ponce and everybody is doing some good damage on this side. It is finished! Because, number-wise, how many kills have you guys gotten so far? 70, 30, 65... And with my trebuchets opening fire here. Oh yeah, there you go. You guys are getting like 20, 30 kills per shot. So, if you guys can keep that up, that'll do well. I just know my infantry needs some support. That's basically what we need. So, Cav... Get you guys kind of form up over here. Hit those Skaven slaves. I definitely need to get some like better infantry in here at some point. I know that's kind of that's an oxymoron for Batonia, but uh, how much guys die? Yeah, because we're gonna keep our squires. I'll definitely keep squires. I think like we'll probably have it so we could have squires and um, um, uh, what's also the other foot squares? Basically, would be the best the, the unit will go with for most of my fighting. Because you guys are technically, I think, some of the best ones that we've got. It's not. That's not saying much, though. There we go. They're starting to crumble away. So infantry did take a lot of damage, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, most of my actual holding power in terms of in melee is my heroes here. And so, Cav, as long as you guys take minimal damage, then, hey, this is basically the fight we wanted. Because as long as we take minimal damage on you guys, then the, the strength of this army is still pretty much maxed. So, eventually we will get some better units for Rapunz here, but this still works. Like, yeah, you you did a good amount of damage. You did 200, 200 kills there. Not bad. Um, I definitely want one more trebuchet, I think. Because I feel like... No, I think one trebuchet is fine. Like, one trebuchet... I think this is, like, the amount of each type is fine. So, like, six infantry, five archers, four cav, and trebuchet. I think that works well. Because even if I had no casting in this army... Um, the catapult can unload onto blobs that I form with Rapunce, and my um, Rapunce is going to be then supported with all of her paladins, where they're just up in melee in front, and basically trying to draw as much attention as possible. Then archers do their thing. I will, I do want to try and replace, I think, the archers with the fire variant, I think. Fire or um, the pox era variant. One of the two. Um, having poison on the attacks would be nice. So... Well, if you get the experience from that, that army is now dead. So now we'll be able to have a silver pawn. So we need to start making my way back down south. Um, I'm debating on... I hate how there's that river that I was making. So it's going to take forever for me to get into the mountains. I worry about them getting too many guys over there. In the meantime, while I'm trying to bring all my forces down. Because right, that army is now destroyed. Hen uh, Henry now has his own hippogriff. Hell yeah. Beautiful. You see your brilliant outpost over there. Okay. I am the so, Leonker. Yeah, we're going to start trying to make my way over here. Uh, are you also fighting pestilence? Let's see. Do you know uh, you are. You are also fighting pestilence right now. Okay, so I might not even need to worry about these two areas. You're not sieging this area right now, but I feel like you're going to attack it next turn. So, I will probably have a so response. We just need to start making my way over here. Because I think I can leave you guys to these territories. I'll have Landker go up here just in case. Like, hey, maybe, why not? Uh, so Landker can go over there. Rapunzel will try and make her way around here. You My guys are still slowly making your way over here to start pushing forward. Okay, I'm just trying to get you guys to all... Oh my god. 
river crossings with this force suck ass. So, keep trying to push on over that way. I could go around here. Technically, that might be faster. I'll have to see about that. So, for right now, that's your guys' job. Um, Yolanda. Um, I'm going to have you go around down here. You might be able to get over here faster than these guys can. So, you do that. You're still scouting for us. They, they literally just have all of this, it seems like. I wonder if they... Because Ikit is, uh, is around here somewhere. So he's got to have some good land down around here at some point. Um, Rapunz. Yeah, so let's get Monster Slayer for Henry. And then, let's see. Certainly. You. Yeah, technically you are good at training. Um, let's get some more defense here. The lady and then more defense calls here me. as well. Building-wise. Um, I can finally get it. Okay, so now I can now. So we want a life damsel. Let's see. So determined... Or into, I think into, we're trying to have this be Merlin, so that makes sense. So Damn we'll grab you, and then I'm gonna immediately rename you to Merlin, as you'll be joining up oh, the not the last name. Yeah, just Merlin. So you're just Merlin. Um, I kind of want to grab one more. I could grab another paladin here to put into one of the uh, into that army as well, which I'm very tempted to. Um, yeah, I'll see you, Beaumont, uh, Bo uh, Bohemond. Uh, I'll grab you. Paladin. I'll have you join on in My with that army as well, so we can have another embedded paladin in that force. So you can do that. And debating if I want to get one more, I guess I have it. I have enough, so I can get an another damsel. I think I might as well grab you too. So we'll have two. Um, so if we have any other name suggestions for this a damsel, that work. But yeah, you guys, you'll go group up with this army, because I might have to split it into two groups technically, where like I can have it so that King Arthur. Actually, I'll have the Paladin go with you. So King Arthur will get the Paladin and Merlin. And then I might have it so, like, will you indulge. will be with, like, the Mad Lad and maybe, um, Talbert. Because I, I, if I remember correctly, I can have it max four armies in in one area at a time. So I we'll want to have it so there's, like, three at, uh, at each. Because you know Valentin and uh, Godfrey, and you guys have worked well together. Um, I kind of want to have you guys keep working together. And Talbert, I think I'll probably have you, yeah, kind of join in with King, uh, King Arthur, I think. Um, over here, let's get some more growth around there. Gain some more stuff there. I do want to get rid of this at some point. I think we can get rid of it for right now. Because, again, I want to put that over here, and I want to actually get the farm around this area. Alrighty, reduced upkeep for infantry units and more income for farms. Hell yeah. Ah, that's beautiful. Okay, so now I need to just have it so that, for right now, let me tell you... You're going to continue to try and group up with King Arthur. I want you to join his army, and then same with Merlin. Um, this other damsel, I think, will try and join maybe Valentin. So you will go with King Arthur as well, Merlin. And then I need this damsel. You're going to be going with... Let's say you try and join Valentin's army. So you can try and join his army. You guys are still slowly grouping up over here. Goddamn me, one more turn. Okay, you guys are almost there. Uh, I do see an army here. So they do have an army over there. Bordelow was able to take this territory. Yeah, I can... I can ignore this stuff. Looks like you guys are going to go take that. So I'll leave you alone. Uh, we'll just keep trying to send my forces over to the mountains to be able to try and take them out. So you go there. Leonker also try and regroup. Basically, we'll just get a lot of time right now, actually, to then just build up my economy because there's just a lot of moving around. So research-wise... Let's keep getting the better plows. Also reduces uh, construction cost of uh, stuff too. So we're going to keep just getting all of this research basically. And then that also gives me more speed for my cavalry. And more leadership and charge bonus. I'll at least be able to get up to that. So we'll go for that. Um, then Blessings of the lady be you guys are just you. waiting for other forces around here. And I literally yes, think they have just all of this land. Yeah. It's going to be interesting finding uh, Ricard's down there. Um, let's see. I need to get you. I need to then get this. Upgrade this area. Got a little bit more money. Um, let's see. I'll get that right now to get your farming a little bit higher. Get the farm around here. And I shouldn't have enough any more money. 
Hello once again. Uh, you guys want me to join a war against these guys? Not really. I don't really have an incentive to go over that way, honestly. So I, I'm not going to help you guys, sadly. I have my own problems to deal with. we got to finish off these forces of Skaven. And uh, also the Dark Elves down here in Estalia. Because that's, that's really where we're going towards right now. Is we need to make my way over there. Try and get rid of them and kind of secure that. Uh, ambush discovered. Oh, why the hell did you move forward, King Arthur? You weren't supposed to move forward. Okay. Now, well, I can pull you back. Let's group you up with everybody else. There we go. So everybody's grouped up. Yes. Rapunzel is almost here as well. So Rapunzel is almost here. Uh, basically, we'll have it so we'll split up because there's three territories we need to take. We can actually have it so like Rapunzel goes for one, you guys go for another, and then uh, Land Curve will go for the other. I don't know. Let's see, these areas are kind of doing okay. Uh, Yolanda. I don't know if I even need to send you down here. Because I could actually have it so that you... All my territories, public order-wise, are doing okay. Uh, I know once I confederate, I'll get a little bit more public order again. And I'm trying to improve my economy right now, as it is. Uh, Pegasus is a particular time. Hell yeah. Also, how much chivalry are we gaining per turn? So, uh, at the moment right now, I gain 91 chivalry per turn. So, slowly but surely, I'll finally be able to actually call upon the Green Knight soon. Um, I feel like... Because eventually he can become like a permanent hero. So I could I'm gonna put him into uh Lancur's army for sure, I think. So Lancur for right now, keep trying to just group up over down here. And then uh rank up should get the foe seeker stuff. And then buildings. So around here, I keep trying to upgrade this, 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 and then I wanna hold off on getting anything else around there. Uh, you need some public order stuff. Also, we'll have you grab a farm as well. So grab the farm for right now, and then I'll have you grab the public order building next turn. Then I can hopefully try and switch this over to the thing that makes it so we get uh, more research rate. And then I don't have enough money for the thing I actually... Oh, no, I do actually. Because uh, I, I didn't realize you guys did this. Does it have a bonus? Uh, it does. So it will reduce upkeep for troops uh, once it is fully upgraded. Hell yeah. Well, hello, Pestilence. I see you are deciding to attack King Arthur. You are threatened by him. Um, I do have a garrison reinforcing army helping me out here. So, this is actually not a bad force. I'm very worried about the, uh, the rattling guns, the warp fire throwers, and the other pieces that they've got around here. I think... So, King Arthur is not does not have a flying mount. I think you guys do. So, what we're going to be doing here is uh, we need to support my allies. We'll help the, We'll support their army. And basically, we need to try and have it so that we take out the high priority targets. Um, so basically, the artillery pieces, the rattling guns, and the um, the war fire throwers. We take those out. Oh, my reinforcements are coming from behind you. Oh, that's not the best. That's not the best. It's fine. It's fine. They'll be safe. They'll be alive. Uh, I'm slowly getting the healing units over here, so we'll be able to get uh, them in here. But it's going to take them on several turns to get here. They do have some good infantry here. That's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Come on, King Arthur. I believe in you, man. We just need to get you to rank 20. We need you to rank 20 so that way you're going to be immortal. Because um, I haven't been able to complete your guys' vows yet. Because I, I hate that the encounters do not uh, at sea do not let you grab armies that are nearby. If they did, I would have finished that one already by now. So, you guys are two minutes there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to go over here. Start the battle. Just kind of hide in the trees. I'm fast enough they shouldn't be able to catch me. Because I need to basically like, gather with my forces here. And then we're going to need to have it. So yeah, like for right now, yeah, they're going to fire on me a little bit. We're just gonna, okay, we're almost here. Perfect timing. Because we need to regroup with my forces. So you need to group over here with us. Some of you are flying. Good. Are both of you guys flying? Yeah, both of you. Okay, so you guys are both flying. You guys are both... Oh, no. Uh, King Arthur is the only one that's di dismounted, actually. So, if that's the case, then... Um, I'll King Arthur group up. And then you guys group up. Because I need you guys to take out the flying units. So, for right now... We want to... Or not the flying units, the artillery pieces. So, let's keep trying to pull back. We're trying to regroup with my forces. Or lure any of their troops away from their forces. There we go. So... I'll have it so for right now. Yeah, here comes the Lord. Are you the same one I fought last time? If you are, you have regen, if I remember correctly. You know, let's wait for my forces. All of you guys kind of... Since you're flying, 
of you come back around this way. Because if we can get rid of the artillery pieces, we've already made them waste a little bit of ammo. Oh, actually. Okay. They're going for him. They're going for King Arthur. Let's see, so I at least debuffed you so you'll have a harder time hitting me. I'll bring my guys over, and does he regen? He does regen. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll bring my flyers back over here. If you guys have the speed boost, please use it. Uh, you've got Crown of Command. But yeah, let's focus him down. Reinforcements are not making their way over here, so we're actually going to move out of here as soon as we can. So you guys need to just take him out. Take this lord out. Who at the moment... Oh yeah, with all four of you. And yeah, make sure he dies. Make sure he dies or he... It's death plague. There we go. So he's death plague. Uh, let's then... Let's see. That is doom flares. Yeah, we can focus on these doom flares. You guys should be able to easily take them out, I think. So we'll take out the doom flares here. Because they don't really have a great way to deal damage to us. They've got a hero around here. Yeah, so let's take out the Doom Flayers. And I might need to take out that hero as well. Yeah, Doom Flayers taking some good damage there. Come on, let's focus on the hero there. Almost have Helm of Discord. I might want to... Ooh, Rattling Guns are here. Okay, let's pull out of here. Let's pull back. Let's get away from the Rattling Guns. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We can keep fighting them, we just need to get away from the Rattling Guns because we can't just let them shoot us. Allies are now making their way on in. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Flyers. Let's now have you. Let's see. I need to get rid of those cannons and everything. King Arthur provides support to the main army. You can try and do that. But I'll have the flyers for right now. You need to go get rid of the warp lightning cannons. Or if I see the rattling guns again over here, I need to go after them. So wherever they are. Probably go for that plague claw first. Because I think I saw the rattling guns around here. King Arthur. Hey, you're just trying to... I'll tell you to go help out these uh, cav units over here on the side. There we go. Get rid of the catapults. Rattling guns I still don't see. Oh, no. There's the rattling guns. So there's the rattling guns. Okay, King Arthur. Help out against the rat ogres. You guys are getting rid of the catapults. So if you'll try and keep getting rid of them. Let's have, like, one of you go for each. That way we can try and get more of them to drop stuff. So do that. Rat Ogres. Helm of Discord them, so my forces have uh, better chances against them. See, this is why I really like the fact that we're trying our best to work with the other Bretonians right now. So, like, this army here, you guys are trying your best, and we're reinforcing you as the king of Bretonia. Let's just stop firing. Fighting there. Because if you guys can just get rid of these other pieces, or at least get them to stop firing, then we'll be okay. Because bounce power-wise, I feel like we've got to be going a little bit higher. You need to try and help out with the play bunks. Actually, what are those rattling guns? Rattling guns are right here. They've got some of their cab over here. Let's support and get rid of the rattling guns, because as long as those things die, we'll have a pretty good chance of destroying these guys. God, these things are taking forever to die. I was hoping my heroes would deal with you guys a little bit faster. Ah, the assassin's going for uh, King Arthur. Nope, not going to let you. So, you should be fine, I think, hopefully. Uh, catapults are almost all dead. So we don't break most of them. Uh, let's see. My allies... Struggle in some areas. Warp fire throwers are still alive. Uh, if you guys... Let's see, see. Finish off the lord there. You're currently winning that fight. Flyers. Let's get you guys to hit the warp fire throwers, because those guys could do a little bit of damage if you let them. So, get on and melee with them. Break him or death like him if you can. Yeah, no. King Arthur's actually doing well. He's fighting the Doom Flayers and he's fighting the hero here all on his own. Got him. Love how you're doing, man. I, I need to get I really need to get to you some good items here. I don't know if there's like a Excalibur equivalent of an item for Bretonians. I wonder if there is. Uh, it'd be kind of interesting if there is. I'd like, gladly kind of give that over. Oh, rattling guns are back. It's back. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. There we go. Got the mid-army losses. Perfect. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Allies took a bit of damage. We're okay. Soon I'll have a caster here. We're just waiting on Merlin to make their way over here, and they'll soon be able to have that. Most of the casualties were on the garrison. That's not surprising. But uh, we've weakened this army, and depending on where they go, I might be able to finish them off. 
Because I'm hoping so. Well, actually, Rapunz might be able to finish them off, actually. No, I think. Yeah, because I was able to take out the cannons. That's really good. Those fully died. Rattling guns are still actually alive. Do players to take the damage. Um, you guys don't actually get any benefit from the captives, so I'm going to have you grab the ransom captives. Get some more money for us. Because that... Uh, oh my god, you guys are still nowhere near us here. I know my heroes have a higher movement range than my armies, but still, it's going to take you guys a while to get down there. Do you wish the Hi, Carl France. Favor? Let's see. Military access and you're paying me money? Hell yeah. Gladly. Let's see, so we did actually also steal a banner from those guys, too. Hell yeah. Because it's the only time to look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Rapunz. Okay, so that army's just fully running away. Okay, well, Rapunz is here. I'll keep moving you guys forward. There, there, My reputation proceeds there, me. there, and there, and we'll have you guys split up once uh, we've been down. able to push on in here. So keep trying to push on in that way, then, um, Yolanda, um, I also have you guys make your way over here. Actually, I might just have, I don't think I need to have Lanker down here. I'm kind of tempted to have Lanker just start making his way down south. Um, I do need to have it so that if we do that, um, yeah, try and go back around this way, and I need you to scout out and see who controls what. Oh, there's actually still somebody alive down here. Um, Nors Norska, never mind. <laughs> Norskans are the ones that are still alive down there. Yeah, there's no good guys down around here besides, um, we at least have some other Batonians still fighting down here. But yeah, I'll have it so that, uh, Leonker... By the light of the lady. I think I'm just gonna yeah, bring you down this way. I'll, I'll bring you. Oh, I don't have. Uh, let's see, Catacostone. I, I can get military Fair access and trade with you. So let's grab that. That way, I will start making my way down here to support you. So I'll help try and get rid of the forces Big of. Because um, yeah, I've already gotten the trait from Pestilence, so I don't need Lanker down here. I'm gonna have Lanker make his way down this way, and I'm gonna start trying to help out around here. Um, probably go for you first. So if you go over that way, you can help out. Um, let's see. King Arthur, get some, some more. Oh, actually, I do want to at least grab this for movement range. So grab more movement range. And then we have the Mad Lad. Um, how are you leveled up? Income from farms. I don't want that. You'll actually, you'll be fine. Just start upgrading yourself, though. Start upgrading yourself there, and then buildings. So here we need to get the farm. Um, hold off on that for right now. I want to make sure we're getting more economic buildings first. Um, you need to get a public order building around here. Throw that a little bit more. Um, you, same deal. Public order, and then kind of grow these areas. Caron. I just need the money. If I get the money, I can upgrade that. I'll at least upgrade the farms right here. Let's upgrade those. Next turn, I'm going to remember that I can upgrade this right now. Because we actually have that maxed out, so we have to upgrade it. Although, let's see. If I cancel enough things... I can just get a little bit more. If I want to get those public order buildings... I don't need to get this upgraded. That way I can get this started now, because we want to get that growth back. Because that will allow me to upgrade this, so then I can get um, some Grail Knights. And then also Pegasus Knights. And then I'll be able to upgrade this, and that will finally finish my quest battle, or my quest for Leonker. Also gives me more armor for all my armies, which is something I desperately do want. So I think that's what we're going to go with right now. I do love how my economy is doing. It's doing way better now at this point. See, I can also upgrade one more farm over here. So we'll do that. And that's all the cash I've got. Ooh, you guys are also asking me to join in against them. I'll take it. I'm, I'm going to be making my way over there anyways. I will gladly start trying to help out against Clan Eshin as well. Because I'll, I'll start setting Lanker down there. So that he can start trying to push them back. Because um, I know I'm going to be using my hero to try and scout out exactly what territory they control. Um... Because it could be, I, those territories could technically be a Deathmaster, or they could be Aiken. One of the two. Um, we'll have to just kind of see, wait and see, so we'll start making my way down there, but I should be able to kind of scout out beforehand. Income from farms, hell yeah. God, the income from farms is really amazing. 
these things, well, that's not a good example. Uh, this one currently makes, yeah, so it's plus 7% right now, so it's 321 per. Um, let's keep trying to, so we want to get the, yeah, the water pumps, so it gets up to 10% total. That then reduces, uh, construction cost and time. Ooh, yeah, we'll get this first. Get that first. Blessings of the lady uh, let's see, so Rapunz. So, Rapunz, I'm gonna have you, so go Has here. And have you also get a little bit more punishment. Oh, I don't have enough movement for it. Eh, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's have you go over to the, this side. You'll try and go over here. The, uh, the Mad Lad Army. Uh, you guys will be Going making your way towards the center the area. Yeah, so you'll go towards the burrows. So right there, right there, Sorry right there, fall. and right there. So you guys, you guys will keep making your way over there. And then it's, uh, Godfrey has a Godfrey. Good rank up? No, it's, uh, my pal. So you gotta rank up. I'll have you get more defenses here. And then, what kind of items do I have available right Very now? Well, if you because I'm curious if I have any... I just want to give out. So that gives me spell resistance. I don't have anything like that. So magical attacks and ooh, sword of the ladies champion. It's not a ba bad basic one. Crown of command is worthless on land curse. I'm using that. He's now unbreakable, so that's unnecessary. Executioner's axe. Um, there's a couple things I can actually merge here. Potion of full hardness. I'm not going to use. Dawnstone is useful, so we're not going to get rid of that. Um, eh, it can be useful. I don't want to merge any of those things. Helm of Discord is always a great thing. Um, so let's see. So for right now, my strength and the wisdom. You don't have any yours. armor. I'll get you the armor of Silvered Steed, and then it could be useful. Let's see, sort of the question is weapon strength. Yeah, let's get you the Executioner's Axe. Um, Protector of the realm. Uh, I don't need extra armor for you right now. Do a Talisman of Endurance, though. So let's get you that. And then I'm actually going to merge you and you. Got me a tal another Talisman of Endurance. Okay. Um, King Arthur, I definitely... Oh, he's got yeah, the Talisman of Preservation. Um, I'll give you the Champion... Yeah, Champion of the Sword, uh, Sword of the Ladies Champion. That will be very fitting for you to grab for right now. Um, and we will be getting a caster at some point, so this is not a bad thing to have on you. Um, who else? Let's see. You do not have a weapon, so I'll give you that. Do you already have magic attacks by default? No, you don't. So, give you magic attacks as well. And then that's about... Well, there's a couple other, like, minor items. Blessings However, of the I can just give you, like, a you. basic, uh, Sword of the Quest. Gives you more, uh, and a Dawnstone, at least. Because that does give some physical resistance. And I think that's good for you. Uh, you have a rank up. So, we'll just get you blade. Oh, this is actually my, uh, the scout. The, the scout. So, we want to have you get more specialist. And then... Is lady's name? Okay. Um, yeah, so you're still scouting around here, so you need to try and make your way over here. There's also Slanesh down here? Those are, that's just like a rebel army, though, basically. Um, yeah, I need you to make your way up here and see who controls... Well, not that one, because if I'm going to attack any area, I want to attack you, which should be death master. So, you go that way. Uh, Leonka is going to make his way over here. I don't even know if I need you to help out over here. Okay, let's put you into force press, into encampment stance. Uh, and then all of you come down this way as well with Leonker. I think I can leave Rapunzel and the adventuring team to deal with uh, Pestilence. I hope we. I want to finish them off today. Uh, Building-wise, again, let's speak, focus on economic stuff first. So, cities... Cities, you guys. Oh, I don't need to necessarily get that growth. I can get this now. Get that. I'll keep it for now. We're not gonna upgrade it. I don't need to upgrade it. Um, oh, you guys. So again, I want to be able to have it. So, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna get another one of these. Get that, and then also another one of the damsel things around here, so we have a closer area to be able to recruit. Oh, that's not as close as. <laughs> Never mind. Uh. I'll have you really get the trebuchet thing, because I don't have access to those yet for recruitment. So, let's grab that. I can upgrade my farm. And then... You don't have anything I want to grab right here for right now. Uh, neither do you. And neither do you. Let's see. A confederation with the Reichlands. Interesting. Alrighty, let's see. So, for right now, Ponce 
for Britonia, um, for the move up lady. one turn with this, As so you're going to get said. a little bit more punishment. You'll keep making your way up here. And then everybody you know else, uh, you guys are fully stocked up now. Indulge. So I'm going to have to see you guys will... Oh, actually, in case you're attacked, though. If the lady yeah, if in case you're attacked, it'll still let you guys replenish. So, oh, uh, you guys are now going towards Old Scroke. Fuck it, sure, let's do this. Because we don't mind taking a little bit more time, because, we again, we're trying to buy time until my heroes can get here. That way we have healing, so I don't mind taking a little bit slow to get up here. So you guys keep trying to do that. And then Merlin, you're almost here. Again, you're trying to gang, you're join up with King Arthur. Still going to take you a couple of turns, but you're almost here. Uh, these guys, same deal. You're just making your way up. Um, Building-wise, again, we're going to focus on economic stuff first, because my economy's going up and up and up. You. Oh, actually, I have another growth here. So, another growth. Another growth. Grown. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. And then I will finally get the defense build. Because that's the only thing I want to put there. Um, you. Same deal. I don't have enough money for this defense building. I uh, actually don't have enough for anything I want to grab then. No, I don't. Oh, this is not what I wanted. I'm going to try and pull back. See if I can get more. Yeah, there we go. So I got a little bit more of you guys in this fight now. So it's the mad lad is actually the one leading the assault now here. So I still think we're going to want to fight this. And if there's any a chance, ever a chance for you guys to die, I'm going to pull you guys back. But this at least means now we have a bit more in the ar uh, to help us fight around here. So at least do have the paladin. Because that doesn't have a max on it, so that will give us more physical resistance. Main units we're worried about. Rattling guns, the uh, skirmishers, artillery pieces. And we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to hope you guys don't die. What's the terrain look like? Terrain for this area. Ooh. Actually. I could hold up around here and make sure that we have like a really good area to blob up. But again, I don't have... I do not have casting right now. Several of you guys are flying, but I think anybody that's dismounted, I kind of want to grab group up around that one area. That way we can have it so it's going to be a nice condensed area. So many of my skirmishers, so many of my forces are coming in around behind them. That's not what I want. Come on, let's not lose the mad lads. If anything at all, we can withdraw, but I still want to try and get some more damage in on them. So we're going to do some damage get what damage we can, and if we have to, we will withdraw and keep whittling them down. Because, like, my armies can do well. Like, these these lords can do well. I don't have all the regen with Gonshik and Felix, but hey, we're gonna go with it. So... I think that's King Arthur right there. So, you are... F you are flying. So, that's, that's perfect. So, for right now, I'll just have you kind of back up here. I know King Arthur doesn't have a mount. I don't know about you guys there... Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for... Let's see who gets on the map first. I think you guys get on the map first. Yeah, King Arthur's the only one that's dismounted. So, for right now, let's have all of you guys make your way over. Let's go try and kill the cannons first. So we're going to try and focus down... Oh, there's some rattling guns there. Careful, careful, careful. Get out of their range. Uh, and the gutter runners. Yeah, King Arthur, go kind of run over this way. There we go. Because if we can just take out one art or one skirmisher at a time, we should be okay here. So yeah, you guys. Oh, you got hit by that cannon. Oh, that's not what I need. Yeah, let's have you guys kind of try and group up. Again, we want to try and take out any. If if we can just take out full units, I would gladly take that. And then we're gonna withdraw because I am allowed to withdraw here. There we go. So all of you guys can focus on the. Oh no, get the get the warp lightning cannon to death flag. It has to death flag. Start holding halberds we kind of want to avoid. Come on, need a death flag it. I want to make sure it dies. Back, go back, go back. We need to take advantage of our maneuverability. We are so much faster than this enemy army. So we can just kind of outrun them so often. Yeah, they're picking back their cannons. Okay, let's keep trying to run away. Also, we technically survive the duration. I technically win as well. Okay, this one's now vulnerable. I think Arthur needs to run away a bit further. Everybody else, you guys all have the speed. Get over there. Let's get the warp lightning, uh, the plague claws next now. Cause come on, I'm just hoping we can get you guys to death flag here. Like you guys, the um, rattling guns, and then any other like key units. Oh come on, King Arthur. 
Come on, King Arthur, get the hell out of there, man. Don't fight the clan rats. Do not fight the clan rats. We do not want to fight any clan rats. Let's see, so we'll pull back. Uh, these guys are, let's see, so that is, uh, Plague Claws actually drop their shit here. Oh, wait, what are those? Those are the gutter runners. Yeah, okay, getting melee with the gutter runners is not a bad idea. So we can try and take you guys out, because you're also a, a good unit. Rattling guns, I don't see. Okay, come on guys, I believe in you. I'm just so worried about losing King Arthur here, and all my other named lords that I have here. There we go. Gutter Runners are under uh, our melee now. Let's see. Uh, so I wanted, I wanted to do Helm of Discord. So that you guys just kind of halt your orders and just attack whatever's nearby you. Because I know sometimes you're really bad about that. Because we're in melee, we should win these fights here. Like, we'll be able to do some good damage to all these guys around here. These are all skirmishers. So as long as we're here, near the Paladin, we'll do some good damage. Because if we can take out the Gutter Runners, that'd be great. You guys are slowly dying around here. Can't, I can't wait until I get that healing. Oh, they're starting to get the Storm Vermin in here. Uh, I want to try and run out of it now. If I can get out of here, I do not want to fight Storm Vermin. I'm not opposed to fighting skirmishers, but storm vermin is a different story. So try and get out of here if you guys can. Come on, 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 come on. We do not want to stay in this massive ass blob. Oh god. Because if you guys can get out of there, that'd be great right now. Ah, oh, you're not gonna be able to. Well, I guess fight. I can't tell you guys to stop fighting around here. Technically, if I need to, as long as you guys don't death flag. I can guarantee that if we, um, if we withdraw from the battle, I just a exit the battle, I will survive. I'll be pushed back. But yeah, you guys can't push out of here. Just do Helm of Discord. Just fight. Yeah, you, you, you gotta fight. That's all we can do here, is they won't let me get out of here, so we're gonna have to fight to the bitter end. Or until at least I've been able to do some damage enough to be able to get out of here. Honestly, this is the one time I actually really love the Crown of Command. I am doing damage. I am doing good damage. Arthur is continuing to spam Helm of Discord. Mad Lad is giving us uh, all. I, I'm actually going to keep the Helm of. Uh, of uh, oh my god. The, uh, yeah, the Crown of Command on you. Because honestly, the Mad Lad telling you, no, get the fuck back in there, and just having them be unbreakable actually is very fitting. And I kind of love it. Because, like, right now, you guys are fighting to the bitter end against Skrulk. You guys have actually not been taking that much damage, um, which is great um, for the most part. Most damage I've been seeing has been from the Warp Grinders doing their AoE thing. That has actually been doing something, but I think they're out of uses now. And so, like, they're slowly dying. Skrulk is slowly dying. Like, I think you guys have this, especially with the fact that I can just have it so Crown of Command. Every time I see someone is low on leadership, I boost them up and I give them some more leadership to make sure we don't break. Because as long as we don't break, I can, I can win this. Because we're slowly pulling ahead. Like, you guys are doing damage. This makes it so they have a higher a chance of, like, not hitting us. And it's doing good. Okay, Skrulk is breaking now. He is losing here. So he's about to run out of this way. God, like, I, I love this fact that, like, this campaign. I love when I'm incentivized to do fights. And this is a great example of why. This, if I didn't take this fight, I would have lost this. I, I would have lost this. It would have taken out all my lords here. But nah. Nah, the brave men of Bretonia, led by King Arthur and the Mad Lad, they can take on fucking anything. And this isn't even their final form yet. I can get them stronger. I can get healing. I can get magic. I need that shit so badly. But no, at this point in time, now that Skrulk's out of the way, I'm pretty cons pretty confident we win. That's my, my, my leadership's even going up on my units now. All that's left are just like, there's the Storm Vermin. There's a little bit of other units too, but for the most part, I especially like thinking of the Helm of Discord around here. And the fact, like, if I didn't have the Lady's Blessing right now, I think that's like the main thing uh, on some of my units. Because as long as you guys aren't broken, that gives 15% ward save, which is great. How does Arthur not have that? Oh no, he does. No, no, that's from his uh, talisman. But fuck yeah, we won that. Like, no, fuck off, Skrulk. Your army was decent, and we just destroyed it. I love it.
23,000 damage with the Mad Lad. I think King Arthur is not going to get any replenishment, but everybody else should be, because everyone else is still in Encampment Stance. King Arthur, because he withdrew to try and get access to another unit, uh, another Lord into this army, um, he won't get replenishment. But I think with how everyone else is doing, I think we'll be okay, because that was a lot of damage. We took out, for sure, Skrulk, for sure the Doom Flayers. Everybody else is beat up, but they're going to probably replenish a little bit. But I'm also going to replenish a little bit. But nah, I love this little army. I love this little army. Like, the Madeline, I think, with the Crown of Command, I think makes a lot of sense. Because he's just going to be like, nah, get back in there. He's going to be, like, acting like the Commissar, Commissar for, like, Warhammer 40k. Where he's like, nah, you were getting back in there and you were fighting to the end. Um, I think that really works. Because eventually I will... Well, okay, once I have all of my lords have Unbreakable, then it's unnecessary. But for right now, it's very useful. Oh, I took out way more. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, so grab the money. Because again, I, I don't get any benefit for this. This doesn't affect the lords. It only affects the units. So we have plenty of chivalry. Get me some more money. And that army is uh, not doing so great. There's not much of it left. So I, we, we didn't get to do as much damage as I would have liked to Pestilence today. I think it's okay. Um, it's just this, this terrain is really awkward to get around. But no... Nah. Uh, I at least have it so that everybody is still alive around here. We almost have those heroes. Those other heroes are almost here. Our Ponce is about to hit a city this turn. She'll be able to take that. And there's only two other settlements that they control. Um, technically, actually, I think King Arthur got some replenishment. I think he was pushed back far enough that he will get replenishment. Because he might be in my, my allies' territory. If he's in my allies' territory, he did. I just can't tell from here. I think he might have. If anything, oh, I'm finishing you guys off. And then we can just keep moving forward with Encampment Stance. Let's see. So, um, I need my public order, so be gone. So, yeah, King Arthur, uh, gained by reinforcing a friendly army. Hell yeah, so now he's got a better charge bonus there. And now uh, the Mad Lad is the one that defeats, defeated Skrulk. And then Potion of Strength we stole. King Arthur now has a Pegasus, finally. There we go. And no, King Arthur was pushed far enough back that he didn't get the punch. Well, if you okay. insist. Well, if lady wills it. I will have it so. Oh, no, before glory. Um, keep. Let's get some more weapon strength there. Guardian. More defenses. You need to get some more health. You Protector need to get some more realm. defenses as well. Oh, wait, do I not? Oh, I don't have that. You need to get that passive, the blessing of the lady. So that's actually... Uh, I can't reset everybody else. Okay, so we'll have to do that later. But, um... Yes. Let's see, so try and go here. Blessings go of the here. lady be upon you. And My strength and wisdom are here. yours. I will let yes. you guys finish them off. I just need to get all these armies in range. So, let's try and have you... Now, yes. Push on in. Attack! And are you fucking kidding me, game? <laughs> no! You do not win this. So... I'll have it so that basically I'm going to leave here this here for the next video. Uh, I'll have it so we'll fight this once we come back. This will be, we'll finish off this army from Skrulk. Then we'll keep pushing on into Pestilence. They'll, they'll be dead next video for sure. Um, and then after they're dead, we'll be pushing on into Deathmaster after this. So I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you just have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? This is Rampant. And I'll see you guys next time.